So what this program is, is we have a, a balloon system, as you can see in the background here, with, uh, filled with helium and it's suspended on it as a system of cameras, both in the visual and the, the near infrared. And what we can do is take uh, aerial photography pictures of our turf grass plots and based on what stress they're under or different treatments and whatnot, we can start to discern between you know, different treatments and whatnot using all sorts of digital analysis, near infrared analysis, and, and all that sort of thing. Well, this picture will help. Uh, it's just another method to, uh, to delineate what could be wrong with the turf. You know, if you know that certain colors are you're always going to be lighter and, or uh, you know, a certain disease may cause a brown patch or something in a turf, that these cameras and the software will be able to pick that out and you can you know, calculate percent cover or what's called like a, a dark green color index or some type of quality index that we can quantify um, using these computer programs. I see applications certainly in athletic fields such as golf courses and football fields, baseball fields too, soccer fields even. Um, with this type of system you can quickly get you know one overall picture, you don't have to worry about different light variances and all sorts of things when you take multiple pictures. And uh, with this it'll be a nice easy way to further solidify well, what could be causing a turf problem or, or something of that nature. Well some of the problems we've encountered thus far are as you can see, there's, there's some uncertainty based on the wind. Sometimes it likes to twist and turn a little bit. Um, we're having a little bit of problems with uh, the video feed on the system, but we'll work out those, those tweaks later. And of course, it's always hard to coordinate four different people holding tethers all at the same time, but I think we'll all have to get on cell phones and maybe a conference call so we can uh, all talk at the same time and get the calculations correct eventually so we won't have to deal with how that's all set up. Um, we've been working with uh, Dr. Rod Gaswa, who is uh, frequently on Backyard Farmer, and uh, it was kind of his idea to, uh, to get the system going to get a nice aerial photography picture. And uh, the cameras and the video cameras mounted on the blimp are actually from Dr. Richard Ferguson, who works uh, in agronomy with corn, and he does a lot of assessment for nitrogen status and, and quality of crops using his digital analysis techniques and so we're working together with with him to kind of apply the same techniques to our turf grass and overall it's been great working with you know closely with the faculty and you know everyone's so helpful and if you ever need anything you know everyone's willing to help each other out and we get good collaboration efforts such as this. Well I say at the end of this we uh, hope to accomplish a, a quick and you know relatively easy method something that's that's not so subjective to, uh, to assess turf grass quality and, and different uh, maybe disease or traffic or stress problems of turf. With one nice, you know, computer outputted decision, it uh, you know, rules out a lot of subjective from different, you know, people assessing turf or something like that. So it's kind of a way to, uh, if everyone would use the same system, we could all sort of agree on if this has been quantified this way, we can all agree on that and use that to assess future issues.